a movie from the director of Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve. It's Hanukkah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where she is. I don't know really who she is. I just went out for latkes and kanish, and when I came back, she was gone. I know that sounds crazy, but I think she was the love of my life. She sounds like serendipity, Phil. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna go out and find her. I don't know how, I don't know where. I'm gonna go to the last scene of the movie somewhere in Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna look now? Monica is exactly like the movies Valentine's Day and I swear, we used the same script. And it stars Ashton Kutcher and Jessica Biel, because they were in the other two films. <laughs> I love everything about this moment right now. I love you too, because it's Me Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, it's Hanukkah. Also starring more white people and a Latina chick. But don't worry, she plays a stereotype. <laughs> I just want to stay in, okay? I don't need a man to light my menorah. <laughs> it's 2011, okay? Ladies can do that themselves, if you know what I'm talking uh, about. I do, I do. <laughs> Ew. Check, please. A movie with a pop soundtrack that doesn't relate to anything at all in the movie or Hanukkah itself. <laughs> you kids want some men's shepherds with your gefilte fish? Yes, honey. If I was just another dusty record on the show, <laughs> Night. <laughs> Shooky! That's what Hanukkah is all about. <laughs> and Project Runway's Heidi Klum. It's fashion, one day you're in, the next day you're out. <laughs> A movie that captures neither the way people actually speak or act. I was trying to tell you the truth! Fortunately, the truth makes everything seem like a lie! You don't step into love, you fall in. <laughs> With unrelated storylines that come together in a non-surprising way, and characters who you didn't realize knew each other. I don't know where she... I don't even know your name. But you're the love of my life. Me? Yeah. Daughter? Dad? What are you doing here in Times Square? I've changed! Marry me! Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> But you're just fucking me. What? Oh my god! My water just broke! Are you even in this movie? Dio Dios, I am a nurse! Uh, <laughs> administration will not allow the Plan B morning after pill to be sold over the counter. Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius gave the scientific reason, we've got an election to win here, folks. <laughs> Ron claims to have captured a drone that belongs to the United States. When I first heard that story, I was like, how did they capture Mitt Romney? <laughs> to solve the Euro crisis, 26 EU countries will sign a new treaty tying their financial fates together. This is the second time in a hundred years such a plan has been suggested by Germany. <laughs> recently said he's worried that his grandkids will live in a secular, atheist America. Gingrich added that he's even more worried that his grandkids will keep asking, wait, so who's my real grandma? <laughs> <laughs> President Obama has announced that for the holidays, he and his family will vacation in Hawaii. 
Rick Perry quickly derided the president for not even spending Christmas in America. <laughs> Although U.S. retailers saw a record Black Friday, that will not ensure a Merry Christmas for everyone. Perry, I don't know about having Santa come to the house. I mean, what if he offers stuff that we can't afford to her, and, and you're still employed and not... I, I, I know, honey. It's been a while since I lost my job, but don't worry. I hired a recession Santa. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, uh, why don't you set some more realistic goals? How about a carton of cigarettes, Chesterfields, and a couple of condoms? I got them in the van. Santa, <laughs> <laughs> could, I, could I talk to Santa for just a second? All right, why don't you just get out of your shop? Santa wants to talk to the big people. Hi, I, I know you talked about keeping your expectations and reasonable, but can you be a little less, you know? I'm an asshole. <laughs> okay, all right, but you told me you were unemployed. And my job is to keep the expectations low, all right? Just kind of gently steer her away from the pricey stuff, okay? Yeah, and don't be an asshole. I heard it the first time. Okay. <laughs> you know the kids, they understand me. Okay. They get me. Get I'm on their same plane. <laughs> all right, get over here. Grab a squat. Come on, guys. Hey, easy, easy. That's it. Okay, so uh, what do you want for Christmas this time? And uh, aside from point. A baby so, brother. Baby, <laughs> hey, take a look at those two people that call each other your parents, huh? I mean, they have not slept with one another for years. <laughs> Come on, look at them. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> your mother's boobs. They hang down to the floor. I almost tripped over them when I came in the room. <laughs> they, they would never play a tight spot. Ah! That was way out of line. Yeah, and my boobs are not saggy. Yeah, like, it's just obvious to me that you don't have enough money to afford a kid. So I'm just trying to shut a street. Oh, just tell her she can have whatever she wants, and then we'll deal with the disappointment later. Yes, and then my boobs are not saggy. That's <laughs> a matter of debate. <laughs> kids are like me. Okay. All right, get over here. Come on. Come here. And a girl. All right, you get your choice of one thing off of this list. Uh, rusty bicycle. Box of ramen noodles with Tom Sizemore's autograph on it. <laughs> and a uh, noontime uh, coupon to sizzle for lunch. No, you gotta choose one of the three. I will reiterate! Okay, Santa. Look, Santa, all I want for Christmas is for my daddy to get a job. <laughs> you know, I, I think that this is an important reminder of how cynical we've all become. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you, kid. Your old man is never gonna get a job. <laughs> He's unemployable. <laughs> if I owned a parking lot, I wouldn't hire him as a, as a, as a speed bump. Now the guy has got such a bad credit rating that, you know, he can't get changed from a vending machine. All right, man, a loser. So get off He's a loser. Get out of here, you bum. 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 Get out of Lucy, well, that wasn't the real Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, I know you hired that bullshit Santa to try and get me out of a real Christmas. Young lady, you watch your mouth. You shut the hell up and get a job, you understand me? <laughs> because I want a pony and mom needs surgery. For Christ's sake, look at those things. <laughs> Getting to look a lot like Gingrich. That is who I am. Decorating the Christmas tree with baubles and Tiffany's. Iowa is the only way to go. Stop, Trump, can I come in? Yeah. Oh, come on in. Get some eggnog. Donald Trump not feeling very festive. 
Donald Trump is feeling sad because you're the only candidate who's coming to his debate on December 27th. Well, Perry and Santorum didn't pair, they just haven't, Perry and Bachman just haven't responded yet. I said to the Evite months ago, I know they read it, they didn't even check the baby box. I mean, that's worse than saying no. Santorum will be there no matter what. He doesn't count. Romney said no, Paul said no, John Huntsman said no. John Huntsman said no to Donald Trump. People don't even know he's running for president. Donald Trump can make you, Donald Trump can destroy you. <laughs> Donald Trump's too sad for false bravado. Don't worry, buddy, I'll be there no matter what for your debate. Even if it's just you and me? Even if it's just you and me. Now come on, turn that front upside down, let's decorate this Christmas tree. <laughs> Children will work for free. Obama <laughs> really has to go. Former Vice President Dan Quayle has endorsed Mitt Romney for president. It remains to be seen how Romney will shake off this latest setback. <laughs> message was sent 19 years ago this week, and here it is. <laughs> so an hour to compose. <laughs> During a recent interview, Ron Paul referred to himself as the flavor of the decade. The decade in question is still unknown. <laughs> In a speech this week, John Huntsman said that people might not always agree with him, but they'll always know where he stands. Outside, looking longingly in through the window, a single tear streaming down his <laughs> Former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich was sentenced to 14 years in prison on corruption charges, but will not begin serving his sentence until February because certainly an ethical, law-abiding citizen like Blagojevich doesn't pose a flight risk. <laughs> this week, a video surfaced of a boy confronting Michelle Buckman at a book signing about her views on the gay community. Let's take a look. Hey, hey. What's that, sweetie? <laughs> Go ahead, honey. <laughs> you have to speak up, son. Don't be scared. <laughs> My mommy is gay and she doesn't need fixing. <laughs> okay, well, um, well, thank you and uh, bye bye now. Okay. Didn't you have something else, honey? <laughs> What's that, honey? Go ahead. <laughs> You have to. Our <laughs> eyes are scary, but they can't hurt you. Yes. Speak up, buddy. Your plan to secure the Mexican border <laughs> is impractical and naive, and that's not getting into even the fact that it's inherently racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go there, sweetie. Oh, but he was so excited to meet you. He has something else to say. Oh, for Christ's sake, just say it. You are taking advantage of people by exploiting their deepest fears and religious beliefs and pretending that it's in their best interest when in fact it's in complete opposition to their best interest. You are a hateful bigot. You want all of society to operate the way you think it should operate. And the fact of the matter is, you have an egregiously offensive view of the way economics and government run, and you try to hide your ignorance with a semi-pleasing demeanor. And you can't smile. Why don't you just get out of here, you little brat? I would also like you to sign my book. Oh, sure. <laughs> I know. He is so inconsiderate. More like bullshit. <laughs> Guys, I just totally squished a fucking rat. 
<laughs> so it's like we're trapped here like the fucking breakfast club in detention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> hey Matt, it's your dad. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you got it. Hey Janelle, hey Matt. Hey. How you doing? Hey Carl. Uh, how does one become a janitor? <laughs> you want to be a janitor? <laughs> I just want to know how one becomes a janitor because uh, Matt over there is very interested in pursuing a career in the uh, custodial arts. It's interesting for me. <laughs> so you think I'm some sort of untouchable peasant? <laughs> Chasing a room around after shitheads like you that you've learned a few things. Alright. Chasing a room around after shitheads like you. <laughs> Find that funny? <laughs> I need your notes. Go through your lockers. I read your scripts. <laughs> I know a certain thespian that is not going to get a call back for a Doritos gig. <laughs> How the fuck could you know about that? I am the eyes and ears of this institution. <laughs> so what are you, like the WikiLeaks of Second City? <laughs> WikiLeaks? Julian, the signs would be shit without me. Shit, you understand? Whoa, what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, ten years as a custodian at the Pentagon. I cleaned a lot of bureaucratic toilets. <laughs> Shredded a lot of docks. So, are you like Julian Assange's inside man? Maybe I said too much. Because <laughs> I don't want to piss off Herman Cain. Kane, what do you know about him? What do I know about Kane? Oh, maybe working a few years from 1988 through 1996 at a little place called Godfather's Pizza. <laughs> you that head custodian. So you're the one that exposed Kane, don't you? No, I think Kane exposed himself. <laughs> no, as a janitor, I've blown the lid off of a lot of scandals. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, you know, last year, earlier this year, actually, I was uh, working in the locker room of Anthony Lee. <laughs> you're like a janitor, but you're also into the fabric that weaves into history. Bingo. <laughs> uh, Carl. Sir. Uh, Sir Carl. Sir Carl. Sir Carl. <laughs> Sir Carl. <laughs> yes, I, I, I heard. Um, Janelle was being facetious. Uh, earlier saying that I wanted to be a janitor, but now I totally want to be a janitor. Come on, this guy is a nobody. No, he's not. No, he's not. not. No, no, she's right, I am a nobody. Compared to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> now there was a custodian. <laughs> Head custodian at a little hotel called the Watergate. <laughs> <laughs> Fox News show brings together experts from the right and the left to discuss the issues of the day. I am Phil O'Malley. The recently defeated personhood amendment in Mississippi has stirred up the debate over embryonic stem cell research. So tonight, stem cells, miracle or murder? <laughs> On the right, from Midland, Texas, head of the American Family Values Coalition, the Reverend Billy Hargis. Phil? <laughs> Good to see you. And on the left, a formidable opponent, best known for his work in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, from the island of Mr. Toys, Charlie in the Box. <laughs> Phil, I want to have quite the pride to receive your invitation because usually nobody wants the Charlie in the box. Yes. <laughs> Reverend, stem cells, your divine thoughts. Phil, although I am sensitive to the suffering that could be alleviated through stem cell research, we cannot take a life in order to save a life. When will the murder of the unborn be stopped? Mm, when, indeed. Charlie in the wrong? Oh, well, Phil, we went through the same discussion on the island of Misfit Toys. Uh, I'll never forget my good friend, the train with square wheels. How painful his life was, he was a 
train who couldn't be a train because he had square wheels. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you prattling on about, puppy? Oh, no. That had a warehouse that was full of spare wood that could have been used to make round wheels, but that wasn't allowed. That was being saved for future potential toys. You're comparing spare wood to a human embryo? Yeah, you're going too far there, Box. I'm not talking about all the wood. That only uses so much. The rest he just throws away. Well, why throw it away when it can be used to alleviate so much pain and suffering? <laughs> I'd like to throw you away. Phil, as you can see, I have Parkinson's disease. <laughs> I bounce around. <laughs> but for many people and their families, it's a crippling, life-altering nightmare. I was having dinner with Michael J. Fox. Oh, Michael J. Fox, an anti-American by virtue of his Canadianness. <laughs> anyway, I was having dinner with Michael and Nancy Reagan at a conference in Washington, D.C. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say Nancy Reagan? Yeah. <laughs> and I had to see what Parkinson's has done to Michael and what all to Ronnie, oh, it just broke my heart. Ronald Reagan was the greatest man that ever lived. <laughs> Pain is just all part of God's plan. Oh, oh maybe you're God, Reverend, but my God gave us the knowledge and the ability to alleviate pain. Your God is just an imaginary fat man in a red suit. <laughs> Phil, this man is blaspheming on your show. Ronald Reagan was the greatest man. <laughs> hey, my God is a loving God. Your God puts lumps of coal in the metaphorical stockings of people's lives. <laughs> Get thee behind me, Santa! Enough! <laughs> Box. Good stem cells have cured Ronald Reagan, the greatest man that ever lived. <laughs> I want to dig him up. Clone him and make him president forever. <laughs> With more research into stem cells and cloning, he is not out of the question. Oh. Now, Phil, the good book says. Out of your good book, Hargis, you're wrong in my book. <laughs> You'll both be burning in hell. Mm. The, the Lord shall smite thee and send thee to hell. Let's win one for the giver. I am good. <laughs> NASA has discovered a planet outside our solar system with many similarities to Earth. For instance, this is their most famous reality television family. <laughs> However, they're biomedical engineers. <laughs> In lieu of an actual embassy, as a bridge to Iran, the U.S. opened a virtual Iranian embassy. Within 10 minutes, Zero Bomber totally pwned Iran with a sweet 360 no-scope sniper shot. <laughs> In other tech news, scientists have created software that can reassemble shredded documents. Did you hear that? That was the sound of 10,000 CEOs simultaneously shitting their pants. <laughs> a woman in Tulsa has been arrested for making meth inside a Walmart <laughs> that she took from the store's shelves. See, this is the problem with Walmart. They come into town and they put all the mom and pop meth labs out of business. <laughs> you know, uh, Every day on Wall Street, millions of dollars are won and lost in the blink of an eye. There's another street just off Maine in your town, USA. Penny stocks are trading. Companies of low value whose stock shares can cost as little as eight tenths of a cent. Bought and sold by dreamers with small dreams. Dreams just as fierce and dreamy as the big dreams. Dreamt by the big dreams. <laughs> oh, what a day. Tough day? Tough day you tell me was it tough? What? Huh? Hey? Fuck. <laughs> Your barkeep. There he is. There he is. Hey, how much are Heineken's today? Three dollars, guys. Same as they are every other day. One Heineken, two straws it is. If you don't mind, <laughs> let me take care of half of this. Yeah. <laughs> You must have had a good week. <laughs> hey, guess what? Huh. I got the other half seats. 150 little ones right here. Whoa! Be careful. <laughs> 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 Some here. 
Sense, right? Uh huh. Four o'clock comes around, I'm down 12. In the last hour, I'm back up to 50 little ones. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. I was actually down 32 at the little cop around these at noon myself. Took it over lunch. And I got back with this crazy buzz on, you know? I started investing in those little, uh, whatchamacallits for the advantages? Oh, like the ace bandage. Yeah, uh, they're like a, it's it's a clip, but it's, it's like, like clasp. Clasp. That's whatever. Anyway, I wasn't looking, boom, it shot up. <laughs> I walked out of there up 50 beautiful Mr. Mary Tots. <laughs> Sometimes luck finds you. you know? I don't think it was luck. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Barney. Hey, Barney. What? Barney, what can I get for you? Whatever's free. <laughs> you want us to get a third straw in here? Yeah. No, I'd love to, but I gotta keep a clear head, boys. I'm in big trouble. Hey, let us troubleshoot it. Great. We got a loan this morning. Big loan. Three dollars. <laughs> From my daughter. <laughs> Three hundred Penskis <laughs> from a four-year-old. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. <laughs> At three o'clock, I was up thirty. By four thirty, I'm swept down. <laughs> Six Linky Loos down. Six tiny shiny beardies. Oh, pull on it! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, boys, I think I'm, I'm gonna get out of the game. No. Come on, Barney, you're the best. Yeah. I got into the penny game because of you. You know, in 2009, I overheard you talking about the company that makes those uh, little, uh, you know, metal sleeves that go between the eraser and yeah, pencils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. good, yeah. but it's a metal thing, and the eraser goes. That's an exact bit. It's an official name. Anyway, I put all five bucks I had into it. Next day, I was up 300 little ones. <laughs> you see that? You got honest aim floating through your veins. Not anymore. Why don't you quit that quitter? Uh, <laughs> this is you. And who the hell are you? <laughs> who am I? That's my name. Marcus <laughs> <laughs> <Obvious> Pennington. <laughs> did you did you really make five hundred in one day? Yeah, I was on those little. Uh, uh, bristly things at the end of a woman's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. bristles. Mascara? Bristles. Uh, bristles. Mascara brush. No, yeah. Yeah. And it was 600 before lunch. <laughs> Paid for half my lunch. 
<laughs> yeah, well, good for you. I'm still getting up. Good! Because the penny game don't need you. <laughs> Look out that window, what do you see? Mercedes? No, behind the Mercedes. Uh, the bus. It's not any bus, that's the number 22. I ride that every day. <laughs> got a monthly pass. See this wrist? Used to have a watch on it. Put <laughs> it at a carnival, sold it at a garage sale for $2.50. That was my seed money. I declared penny bankruptcy four times, and I bounce back every time. I bounced like a penny. <laughs> penny shots all the way around. Now, do you guys want to hear more of this baby's whining, or would you rather hear a song? Uh, it only takes quarters. Only takes quarters. Yeah. Huh? Wow, that's a, that's a real shame. Yeah, it is. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Bockets Pennington. <laughs> Who wants to know? Inspector Bohan and SPS SEC. <laughs> it's the small time SEC. <laughs> <laughs> Slippery man, Pox, but I finally caught up to you. I've been chasing you for 40 minutes. <laughs> what's, what's, what's it for? Inside tip. You had a lead on some of those, uh, well, what do you call it? It's what the. If you know when you get a ball and a paddle, it's the string. Oh, yeah, it's it's the string. The string. The string. The string. What am I looking at? One to three, mandatory. Minutes? Yep. <laughs> hey, uh, Inspector, before we go, uh, can I play a song for my pals here? Thank you very much! Contributions we've gotten the sketch up from two minutes to eight. <laughs> As always, we would like to apologize for truly wasting all of your yes, time. Yes, thank you. <laughs> now, the passing of time is but a chariot invented by the gods, harnessed by man, and hindered by us poor players. Yes. <laughs> Please join us next month for the 30-minute version of this scene yeah. and the eight-minute version of this apology. Thank Thanks you so much. much. It's like a country song, but it's not a country song. But she starts drinking, so she's afraid, but courageous, like in a way that's vital and sensuous. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, this is Usha. She's foreign. She assists me. Since when? Since the thing. Do you want her to assist you? She gives great assistance. No, thanks. So the song, which is an iambic pentameter, is like the Vito getting hot as she goes. So it's universal, and there's a smoke machine, and a hip-hop thing, and the cast holds up a mirror, so the audience knows one through for all who the song is about. <laughs> I think it's been done before. I think it's been done before. <laughs> very, very nice turnout at the craft fair, Rebecca. Thank you, uh, Reverend. I haven't sold anything, though. Well, patience, my daughter. Patience. All good things shall come for those who wait. Samantha! How is school, young lady? My boyfriend's in jail. Well, that's too bad. Um, it's probably better for us, though. <laughs> <laughs> Lorne! Would your boyfriend like a heart-shaped pillow or maybe a pot holder? <laughs> no. Um, I do all my shopping at the mall, so. 
Jerry Bruckheimer movie. <laughs> the Lindsay Lohan issue of Playboy will be released a week early due to an internet leak because, of course, Hugh Hefner suffers from premature e publication. <laughs> the Santa Ana winds caused a power outage in this neighborhood in Los Angeles. Roger? Susan? Our power is back on. It's yours. Hello. Yeah. Oh my God, this place is a mess. Yes, the Santa Ana winds have certainly wiped everything out, but still, this is. Oh, oh, holy oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You enter, but no welcomes. Roger. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Me no Roger anymore. What? Me, great darkness. Me, fight for Emmy! Huh? <laughs> and then no power. <laughs> Roger, you see, um, the, the, the power's turned on this morning. You see, Edison turned on the, the power here in the world. Yeah. Edison? <laughs> you from Edison? No, 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 no. That's my womb. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about wombs in general. Because my, my wife, she has a kick ass womb. I mean, it's rocking. Just stop talking. <laughs> Not this one we keep. No, 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 no. Yes, we don't do anything. I would break the one. Feed upon the wound. 
Like the buffalo feed upon field of rest. <laughs> okay, that is it. That is it. <laughs> Roger, it's me. John. Jake. Jerry. Joe. John. Uh, John. We were gonna have beers at Sunny Budweiser. We were gonna watch the game on TV. Remember the Broncos versus game? Yeah, game. Game Broncos Bears. Right. Play together. Play. Yeah, remember? Play. We're gonna we we, we we quarterback. Quarterback Tim Tebow. We hate him. Tim Tebow. Yes. <laughs> Always worship God. Yes. False God. Hey, hey. Susan, what are you wearing? This is really not honoring. <gasps> Comments have awakening from my savagery. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was certainly something, wasn't it? Oh, I guess you guys are a bit hungry, huh? Yeah. Well, we've been um, eating the mice and cats that have been running into the yard, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, you know what? We just went grocery shopping, so why don't you shower up and uh, come on over? I'll do <laughs> Still, what? Gloria, I have hung the stockings and I am decorating the Christmas tree. So? <laughs> so? I have put a candy cane on the tree for Gloria Kane. <laughs> <laughs> and there is mistletoe. <laughs> I thought perhaps we could write our holiday letter together. I am glad the campaign is over. It gives us time to spend the holidays together. <laughs> Happy holidays from Herman and Gloria. <laughs> oh, we send our Christmas cheer to you. <laughs> 2011 has been an exciting year for us. <laughs> I lost 20 pounds. <laughs> and we finally finished building that deck. <laughs> also, Gloria looked, learned how to cook Indian food. <laughs> Let me tell you, that made it harder to lose those 20 pounds. <laughs> 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 also, I decided to run for President of the United States of America. I was hoping we could leave the political stuff out, <laughs> as this is for our friends and family. As you all know, it is always my great honor to serve our great nation. Oh, okay. <laughs> and by serve, I mean making all the other candidates look so amazing by comparison to me. <laughs> You know what I enjoy the most about Christmas? It's the spirit of forgiveness. I believe we can all take a cue from that. Actually, I think I am confusing that with Yom Kippur. I get all of my holidays mixed up. Just like I get all of my women mixed up with my wife. Okay, okay, are we done now? All right, are we done? Okay. Are we done? All right. <laughs> but I'll tell you another thing. It is not that difficult to hide a 13-year affair. You just need to have a wife who's a little slow on the uptake. And surely it helps if she also kind of wanted to be first lady. But then again, fidelity was never a real big thing for me or for Gloria. If you get my <laughs> Gloria and I are taking a salsa class. <laughs> yes, we all know how my hand.
campaign ended. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that makes us even. <coughs> Soon, many of my colleagues will seek my endorsement. Until then, it's lots of words with friends with Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Happy holidays from Mr. and Mrs. Herman Cain. I'm Donald Trump. Welcome to the world famous Trump Tower Hotel in New Jersey. Okay, tonight is my debate, my questions, my rules because I know the real issues. The candidates of tonight's debate are former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney, former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich, celebrity apprentice runner up Gary Busey. <laughs> Miss USA 2010, Prima Faki. <laughs> now, a lot of you might have been expected to have Perry or Bach with that skeleton, Ron Paul up here. Well, let's face it, they're losers. If you want big ratings, these are the guys you go into battle with. And believe me, the Donald knows about big ratings. Okay, let's get started. Mitt Romney, almost 9% of Americans are unemployed. How do you plan to fix that? Well, although there is no quick fix to our unemployment issues, offering tax credits to big businesses... Incorrect! The them. correct answer is legalize gambling nationally. Legalize gambling means more casinos. More casinos means more casino jobs. Newt Gingrich, how do you feel about that? Well, promoting gambling as an economic panacea is not morally right. Oh, that's right. How could I forget the man who got married, cheated on his wife, married that one, cheated on her, then married the next one he cheated with, all while trying to impeach President Clinton for cheating with no thing to do about morals. Is that very look in their eyes? <laughs> they realize what is happening to them. And that is the moment I like the most. <laughs> To make about as much sense as anyone up here. <laughs> yes, you want to say <laughs> Would you have sex with Duke Gingrich? Hang on, let me get this dress off. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how this man got three women to marry him. I'm sure. I've been married three times. Well, look at me. Then look at him. I'm confused. Who? Who am I sleeping with? Go have another drink. Okay. Iran is about a year away from a nuclear bomb. Mitt Romney, how do you stop him? Well, as the past has shown, uh, you know, using sanctions against the rogue Iranian regime doesn't really stop them. Wrong. Bottom line, you want to be president, you go Hiroshima on those Muslims, huh? Muhammad, take them out. Muhammad Ali! Muhammad Ali! Look like a bullet blasting like a bee. Thriller in Manila! Thriller in Manila! <laughs> In order to deal with terrorists, they have to be ruthless like terrorists. You mean ruthless like divorcing your wife while she's dying of cancer? Oh. Cancer? I'm a Virgo. <laughs> All right, hippies, <laughs> Occupy Wall Street, New King of Church, let's go. Was there a question? He wants to know what you think of Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> Mitt, you're sounding very presidential. Thank you, Donald. That's Mr. Trump to you, big love. <laughs> 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 yes, sir, Mr. Trump. Uh, uh, All right, Travis Tritt, March 24th of the Taj. Gary Busey, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm proud to be an American. At least I know I'm free. The wrong song, but I give you points for being in the right genre. Uh, That's the end of this round. We'll be right back with our swimsuit competition. <laughs> Trapped in a snowstorm in Alaska, survived for three days on cans of frozen Coors Light. A case of beer kept him alive, but the man did not even catch a buzz. 
team of Japanese and Russian scientists will be able to clone a woolly mammoth within five years. No word on when they'll be able to clone a regular mammoth. Pennsylvania <laughs> law makes it illegal for parents to leave their children in a car while they gamble in a casino. Yes, that's right. A new law so that now that's illegal. We take you now to this office. <laughs> Yes, 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 no, yes, absolutely. I've got good news. I've already Madonna and Cirque du Soleil for the Super Bowl halftime show in 2012. Oh, nice. Oh, nice! Thank you, thank you, thank you, but let's not rest on our laurels, shall we? Let's think about 2013 and beyond and remember the goals of the Superdime Halftime Planning Committee. Yeah. One, we book acts that entertain as many people as possible. Like the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. While simultaneously annoying as many people, people as possible. Like the Black Eyed Peas. Exactly. <laughs> we show Muslim nations that we are um, wretchedly excessive, yet we have no sense of our own history. Like the Rolling Stones singing Brown Sugar. Yes. <laughs> and most importantly, we must have bizarre talent. Uh, yeah. Composition. Yeah, yeah. Britney Spears and uh, the Rolling Stones. Yes. Okay, I'm proud of that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we've had the Stones and we've had the Who. Uh, how about the Police and their backup dancers are a bunch of Occupy Wall Street protesters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. This is yeah. what I'm working on here. So we got Barbara Streisand, Insane Clown Posse, Ludacris, Kiss, 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 and then the Vienna Boy Choir all coming together to do a special <laughs> halftime edition show on ABC's White Belt. Oh, no, yes. White Belt. The insane clown posse with the Vienna Boys Choir on stage together. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh yeah. Okay. How about this? How about this? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. Jay Z, mm -hmm. Kanye, mm -hmm. Flo Rida, yeah. uh, uh, Usher, and Bieber, and they accidentally say the N word. Oh. It's the new Janet Jackson oh tip. Oh, yeah. All right. Come on. Yeah. You throw in Tony Bennett, and I am there. Yeah. 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 The Muppets, uh, Simon and Garfunkel, Shania Twain, yeah. and uh, Katy Perry and J-Lo go lesbo on each other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Kenny G has to have his hair straightened. Yes! Yes! yes. Okay. Okay. So take what Steve said, and then what Veronica said earlier, and then we're going to put it all together with Edward Cullen from that Twilight movie, and he resurrects Michael Jackson's corpse. <laughs> then they get the boys and the brothers back together, and then they all start singing Thriller. Solid brick building. The post office, as you know, is three billion in debt, so they're having to sell off half their processing centers. <laughs> oh my God, these counters are real cherry. Really? So we're stuck behind the yellow line. Did I say next? <laughs> hey, it's for horses, motherfucker. Get back. <laughs> I'm getting a weird vibe here. <laughs> so I was possessed. Well, you know, it was a post office for 80 years. It's bound to have some residual employee atmosphere. <laughs> you mean the place is haunted? Ooh, a haunted restaurant could be really popular. <coughs> Why don't we check out the back sorting room? <laughs> Office 
supplies would be included if you chose to buy. Ah, you bitch! <laughs> Shit! The scissors? Oh, really? Sorry, I had this overwhelming urge to kill myself, but I just substituted you for my own suicide! Charlie! Ah! Oh, my God, this place. Oh, it's originally uh, priced at 1.6 million, but if you put down the scissors, I will get it to you for 1.4. <laughs> Irish pop singer Sinead O'Connor got married for the fourth time because nothing compares. <laughs> you, no, wait, you, no, you, seriously, you. In his new book, Donald Trump says he deserves credit for making Lady Gaga a star. Trump, it's called blame. When it's, when it's bad, it's called blame. <laughs> New York High School principal is facing criticism for a Facebook picture that shows her getting chocolate syrup poured on her by a shirtless man. The principal defended the picture by explaining to her students that chocolate syrup is simply the best way to get out jizz stain. Oh! <laughs> My name is Melville Thompson. I am the pastor at the Golden Air Free Will Baptist Church in Pike County, Kentucky, where earlier this week I single handedly set back race relations 50 years by banning interracial couples from my church. <laughs> now, in my defense, <laughs> it was democratically decided. Okay? The congregation decided nine to six not to allow interracial couples, and we were really thinking of one couple in particular from attending our church. Now, even if you remove my vote and the vote of the couple, that's still eight to four, which means two-thirds of the congregation were not really happy with this couple. <laughs> now, I have been called a racist and a bigot, and I am neither of those things. I very politely approached the girl's father and suggested she take her fiancé back to Africa. Oh. <laughs> because that is where he is from. I would never suggest taking a black man from Kentucky to Africa. Now that would be racist. <laughs> now, lastly, I do not understand why a man in this country, in America, cannot use his power as a pastor to kick out his ex-girlfriend and her fiancé from his church. <laughs> If I can't do that, then what has this all been for? I ask that again. What has this all been for? <laughs> Thank you. I'm Goblin. <laughs> Holly Berry, Jessica Biel, John Bon Jovi, Abigail Breslin, Chris Ludacris Bridges, Robert De Niro, Josh Duhamel, Josh Groban, Josh Brolin, and six other people named Josh. Okay, you're the new Dick Clark. It's New Year's Eve too. 
so many celebrities in such a shitty script. Now with the entire cast of Second City this week.